because someone asked, these are my whatever. These are my video settings. Yeah, basically everything on medium except for effects quality, which is low, foliage quality, high. And then I have I have a lot of like the footsteps and uh whatever. And foliage, like whatever. Interaction stuff. I have a lot of that turned off just because it it obviously affects frame rate a lot. So yeah, and then whatever. With adjust brightness and HDR, I haven't touched this at all. Like, I haven't touched this at all yet. So yeah. RTX is that I have whatever. DLSS off. Do I really haven't changed anything? Camera, I really haven't changed anything. So yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, that's an alpha meg. Alright, so this episode, I want to start by cleaning up the base a little bit. For example, editing this, uh, I think I want to refine the staircase a bit, because it just looks janky, and with the pillar there, I can't even get up it. I'm going to need to find a way to do that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start this episode by cleaning up that staircase, maybe adding the railing up there. Just kind of cleaning up the base a bit, and then I'll probably just make a cut, uh, do that, show you the show you what I've done. And then later, this should, whatever, it should start producing crops pretty soon, which means... I want to try and get a mammoth pretty soon. So, I, yeah, I think I'll probably do the stuff on the base. Wait for the crops to be whatever. Have at least a few crops. And then probably go see if I can maybe get a mammoth this episode. So, yeah. I'll probably bring you back once I've changed the base a bit. So. I've done some more on the base. Did a quick little wood run. And I think my Pteranodon just got attacked. As you can see, that's some of the difference there. Wait, I... I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, that's an alpha meg. I just want to try and... Maybe prevent him from damaging that stuff. Like, maybe get him to come over this way. I don't really know why he wants to attack it, though. I feel like I can't kill an alpha meg right now. I mean, I don't think I can. I don't think the stuff there actually needs the pillars. Okay, some of it needs pillars. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can live with that. But yeah, this is, uh... This is not very good. 
Yeah, this guy, this guy's gonna be a problem. How much health do they have usually? But yeah, that I can repair. He didn't really, whatever. The only stuff that was actually relying on the pillars was that last little section. I didn't have anything on that section, so I'm not too, not too fussed about that. But yeah, where was I? So, I'm actually freezing. Might, might as well <laughs> show you one, one of the features I've added. Torches. We're supposed to just be for aesthetic purposes. Actually, that guy, hmm. That guy might be a problem, come to think of it. Yeah, that guy might be a problem. So, I might, I don't know, can't, if I drop in there with my Karno, do you think my Karno could kill it? Honestly, I, th I think he could. But the other thing is, I am not at the whatever. My health isn't very high, and I think I'll be freezing if I drop down there. So I don't really want to do that immediately. Well, actually, I guess while I'm waiting for my health to go back up, I might as well finish showing you what I built. I built this little bit here so it connects to both floors and it's this little ladder system that connects to this I expanded this a bit and now I have like a little flyer landing platform and this guy and just chill up here and then I can just go down this way if I want And you can get off on this floor. It just a takes a little getting used to. You need to like barely see the floor there. Hold D and then press spacebar. And you can get in. So yeah, I like it. And then also this. I feel like this looks a lot better. Way less janky. And unfortunately, since this is like a weird like half wall. I can't continue the spiral staircase because if I do, I'll need to remove some stuff. And even if I get that, it'll be like partially sticking through down here. So I feel like I just went, I just went with this because it's the, whatever the ramp makes, uh, whatever the ramp only raises you up by half a wall. So yeah, actually works pretty well for this. I wish it looked a little bit better, but yeah, it still works. So then you can walk up here. Yeah. Like the nice little balcony. And of course over there. And then you also have the little loft bedroom that I made. Which has my bed and a little bit of storage up here. And you just have like a nice view of this. It's pretty cool. And yeah. That and then of course the torches are the main additions I have worked on. So yeah, I think at this point, I think I want to see if we can go kill ourselves enough Meg, because he is, um, he's proving to be a bit of a nuisance. So yeah, where is the son of a bitch? There he is. Actually, I kind of want to see what level is he? Okay, level 20. I think I can kill that. Oh my god. I think I can kill that. Okay, I can't do my bleed attack while well, I'm down here, unfortunately. While well, I'm underwater.
Hmm. That's unfortunate because actually, yeah, I need to get out of here. <laughs> because they're uh, whatever. They're alpha boosted. Actually, maybe if I can like cheese him here and keep doing the bleed attack. Keep doing the bleed attack because bleed attack is obviously super effective against alphas because they have a lot of health. And if I can also get this other Megalodon kill, that would be nice. Come on. I think he's really bloody. Unfortunate that he's alpha boosted. Okay, he died to the bleed. Nice. If I can keep getting the bleed on him, that'll be nice. But I feel like at this point I should start just doing this attack because I don't want the alpha to die to the bleed because I won't actually get the kill for it. So close. Okay, at this point, I think he's bloody enough. I'm just going to chase him down here. Is he actually just running? Gotta be getting Gotta be getting low. Like, it's really bloody. Now I want to get back up to whatever. land to hopefully put ball in nice. Oh, if it gets stuck here, that's perfect. Oh, it's so close. But yeah. 
killed it. <laughs> Took a while. But we got it. I want to make sure. Did my guy pick up the stuff? Yes, he did. Alpha Megalodon fins. And... A bit of Titan armor, but nothing too amazing, honestly. Alright. So, yeah. Build an Alpha Megalodon. Build that stuff. Now I want to see if... First I want to check how close the props are. Nice, we're starting to get some rock carrots. And some long grass. And some fish and all, nice. And I think I'll... Hmm... Should I try and... Okay, you know, I'll probably fix the... whatever. I'll probably fix the dock, like, in my own time sometime. But yeah. I will probably... Probably start getting ready for whatever. Let's go look for a mammy. Hmm, actually... I might want to get an RG first. Because I will, if I do want to get a Mammy, I am going to need to transport, like, ideally a trap and, like, narcotics over there on my Pteranodon. And my Pteranodon isn't too bad. Yeah, I might actually want to go look for an RG first. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. So, yeah, change of plans. We're getting an RG first. So yeah, I'll look into that. Also, I'll put some more stuff into whatever fortitude. Alright, so. I'm gonna look for an RG. I'm definitely gonna take my Tyranid on. I think I have more narcotics somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I really just need narcotics with me. I have plenty of arrows that I can turn into narc arrows if I need to. And I probably want to build a trap for an RG. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Gonna want to harvest up some stone. Or repair this first, though. And yeah, also, I might actually have some stone... In here, I believe. Oh yeah. So I need some stone dino gates. Yeah, I'll probably want like four I'll get four of these and then two of these. So yeah, that will require a good bit of stuff. Wait. Okay, yes, they are crafted in your inventory. Yeah, 280, 140, and 100 each. So yeah, I will... I'll go get these resources together. And probably bring you back once I have the gates ready, and yeah. Here I go try and get an RG. Alright, so. I got... I decided to stop at 3 because I can probably do it with 3. And I'm gonna be honest, I was tired of grinding for these. They're like 280 stone each. So yeah, I have the narcotics. Whatever I'm gonna tame it with, I'm probably just gonna tame it with like prime meat. I'll just find like a baby dinosaur out there. Once I actually have a knockdown and kill it for the prime meat. But yeah. I think I have everything. And yeah, I'm stopping at this many gates because one, I cleared out like all the big rocks in here. And it took a while. And got me up for three gates, so yeah, I'm stopping at three. Because it's definitely doable with three. I mean actually I think technically it's doable with two, but like two is really pushing it. 
I'm thinking of where I want to actually look for an RG. I'm thinking maybe the the volcano, honestly. Also, I might as well go over this way, see if I can get this blue drop. Yeah, probably gonna go to like the base of the volcano and look for an RG there. I think I'll probably go for like one I'll go for minimum level like 130 130 will be like the lowest I'll take because I do want like a good RG obviously because with an RG the weight stat is definitely important also the health stat just because I don't want it to die there's actually a blue drop with a ring around it alright Oh, I think I'm too heavy. Um, yeah. I can what all did I get out of that? I didn't really see. Okay, that's all stimulant. That's actually nice. Rare flowers, some spear bowls. Okay. And the dodic saddle, I'm going to be honest, like, I don't really need a too good Dodic saddle. It's not like I'm gonna be using Dodics for combat. Like the only reason I'd actually be using a Dodic would be like in combination with an RG. And in that case, odds are I can just pick up the Dodic with the RG and leave. Like I won't actually need to fight. So yeah. Explore now. Onico Nicterus Specuncola. All right. Gives me five levels. Nice. Yeah, I'm honestly just putting everything into stamina. I just want to be able to fly for a while with this guy. So yeah, I haven't ran into a Rhino Gnatha yet, and I'm kind of glad I haven't, because yeah, those things are, those things are terrifying. Yeah, apparently they can spawn like over there, so yeah, I want to avoid that. I mean, I'm saying, I'm not denying, it would be cool to see a Rhino Gnatha. But odds are, if I'm seeing a Rhino Gnatha, I'm potentially in harm's way of a Rhino Gnatha. And I... I feel like with how weighed down I am currently on my Pteranodon, something tells me I might not be able to outrun a Rhino. I'm gonna go check this blue drop though. I'm getting so distracted, but like, drops could potentially contain good stuff, so. Another thing is, drops can actually contain, uh, crops, which would speed up how soon I could potentially go for a, a mammoth. I won't be able to fly. Yep. Alright, quick, quick, quick. Uh, I can cut those. Don't leave me. Come on, just get up a bit. Just get to where Rex can attack me. Okay, good. I think I'm good. Which I think he's aggroed to me, yeah. Because I don't really need that.
Yeah, and as I was gonna say, that those are crops there, which are really nice. I think I'll be good with this. Because I can still fly, I can still like sprint. I am definitely very heavy though. But yeah. I can still sprint, which is good. And I'm now in an area where I can start to find... Bargies. So I'm looking for... Ideally level 130 or higher. And I'm ideally not looking for a Giga or a Karch. I do not really want to run into one of those. Because if I do, wherever they are, that place is basically off limits to me. I can't really do anything about a Giga or a Karch at my current state. I think that's that alpha raptor down there. There's some RGs. Do we got good levels? Level 90 and what's one in the back? Level 40. Okay. And we're out of sand. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go for either of these. Thankfully that guy can't reach me. Hopefully- oh crap. Crap, I forgot good pathfinding skills now. <laughs> it's always terrifying when you think, like, based off of, like, old arc logic. Like, oh, I'm chilling up here, I, he won't be able to get to me. But now, they actually have good pathfinding abilities. Which means, no, you're not safe. <laughs> he probably can get to you somehow. Hmm. I think I'll probably just keep checking around around the base here because I remember there was a giga like close to the top up there so I want to stay away from that but yeah I, I don't think it'll take too long to find a good level RG there are a lot of them. As I'm saying that, I'm not really finding any. It was those initial four, and now I'm not really seeing anything. Hmm. Where are the RGs? Hmm, the dead trees are... whatever. That's new. Like, the island didn't have these, uh, the dead trees leading up there. But I wonder, are these... I assume these are probably the trees you can get charcoal from. Interesting. If those are, I like that they've added those to the island now. Actually, really cool looking car now. I think that sound is... I think I've, I'm loading in the tech cave. I think that's what that sound is. And that's why there's like a stutter when I... 
like get within range to where I hear that, and then when I go out of range to where I can't hear it. At least that makes sense. Yeah, I think I'll probably just keep looking for a good level RG, and I guess I'll probably bring it back once I once I find something that I will. Well, let's find something adequate. Alright, so. I looked around a lot, and the highest levels I was able to find was a 120. So, I went a little bit far away. And I have a trap set up here. Just the, the three, whatever, gateways, like I've crafted. And it should be over here. It's kind of like a grayish one. Yeah, I need to do this quick, because I lose health fast over here. If I go like too far this direction, I start losing health fast. There's like a very abrupt shift in temperature here. Yeah, there should be a, a grayish level 120 RG somewhere around here. Is that him? I don't think that's him because the location doesn't really check out. Yeah, that's just a level 20. He was over here last time I saw him. Oh, don't tell me that's him. I think that's him, though. Okay, no, that's level 20. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that was level 20. And that's level 120. Is it out? I want to make sure I'm not convinced. No, I think that's level 20. Yeah, it's level 20. Okay. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Okay, good. Got a little scared there for a second. <laughs> and I need to get this guy aggroed to me. There we go. I'll let him get a hit off on me and just like make sure he's invested. Really? Dude, this is aggro fast, dang. Come on. him passive and then follow me what was that the sound of uh that was the sound of something aggroing what was that that was the sound of uh, whatever allosaurus if i'm not mistaken to see how many arrows and meat this should be. This should be less than 23 shots. 
So I should have enough arrows. It does say it was like a 3% chance of death though. Which I don't think this already is going to die. Because I think for that to be the case, you'd have to be like... You'd have to get really unlucky with the health stat on it. Like it's wild stat would have to be really low. But yeah, I hope it doesn't die because this is the... I looked around a lot, and this is the highest level RG I've found. So, I would like to not lose it, ideally. So, it is looking a little bit bloody. Then again, I feel like in Survival Ascended, they've made creatures begin to look bloody a lot sooner than they did in Survival Evolved. I don't know if it's Torpor running at this point. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And now it should be like... I think it's like five pieces of prime. I'm not going to give it these pieces because it could potentially eat one and then not have anything else to eat and then start dropping and losing game effectiveness. Yeah, now I want to find something to that I can get some prime meat out of. The first thing I can think of is one of these Argies. Because the Argies, it's just a few barrel rolls and they're dead. And they do drop prime. I do want to stop for Stam now. I believe if you hold down R, I can spot the stone arrows. That's really nice. I'm actually almost out of stem. Unreload. Or like one more. There we go. Only one piece of prime, unfortunately. I'll put straight in his inventory because lasts in his longer. And also, I think it's actually more efficient for me to harvest it with my pteranodon. My Tyrannodon, I think, was usually getting, like, two, two per RG. And there I only got one. That's also the only one. Actually, I think one of those Rex is over there. I mean, unless he's healed, I believe I remember one of them being pretty bloody. I can't really tell with the lighting if one of them is bloody or not, but holy crap, there are so many Rexes around this area. Ooh. That's level 135. And that one is angry at me. Also, is it just me or I feel like they added like some really nice blue colors to like the natural pool of colors that whatever that creatures can be. Because I feel like I've seen a lot of like really nice like glacial blues. Actually, 
I want to make sure this thing isn't about to wake up anytime soon. Okay, yeah, it's fine. It's nowhere close. Okay, I want to find some more prime meat before I actually feed it. I do not want the teaming effectiveness tanking because of that. I think I'll probably just stick to stick to RG's. What was that one? Twenty, nice. Good to come over this way on its way over. Hit it a bit with this. And I missed that, I guess. Okay, that worked. Hopefully I'll get it two out of this. Oh three, hell yeah. Yeah, it should only take I think it should take like five, four or five, I think, according to Dota decks. Because Dota decks is based on a 1x multiplier. I have it on 2.5, which means, and on Dota decks with the 1x multiplier, it says it should take five pieces. I mean, not five pieces, 10 pieces, which would mean with my rates, it should take less than five, maybe four. Okay, yeah, it'll take five. All right. Sweet. And yeah, that'll that'll tame up. As long as nothing kills it, it will tame up. All right, sweet. I think I'll probably just, uh, whatever. I think I'll probably just chill around here. And wait for it to wake up, honestly. The one thing I forgot is... an RG saddle. Where is it crafted? I forgot. I don't think it's crafted in a smithy, right? Pretty sure it's crafted on you. Yeah, it is. Okay. The 350 hide, 150 keratin, 180 fiber. Fiber's easy. I have a sickle on me. Hide, I think I have close to that. Well, not really close to it, but I can get to there. And the keratin, I... Actually, I can get that too because there's, uh, whatever. Scorpions up here. So yeah, I will probably look around and gather this stuff for, uh, whatever. I will probably gather these stuff for whatever it is. I'll get a, whatever, I'll get a saddle going and I'll probably bring you back if anything interesting happens or when it tames up. Actually, first I'll just keep you around for this yellow drop. Then I'll probably cut. This is very dangerous. I don't know why I didn't check. Oh. Uh. I definitely can't carry that. I mean, I'm... Does it take a Diplo saddle, right? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not gonna need a Diplo. I might actually, but yeah, I, I don't need like a crazy saddle immediately. But this RG saddle blueprint is not the one I will be crafting because that is way too expensive. Especially for just finding stuff around here to kill and get the hide. I'm not really willing to farm up 
3,000 hide. But yeah, I will probably collect the stuff for a saddle and bring it back once he's tamed. So, I've been playing around a bit. haven't quite gotten enough to craft the RG saddle. But I have looted a few drops and I got this really nice RG saddle blueprint. But it is extremely expensive, so this is definitely going to be a, a later thing that we get if we actually get it. Then I also found a 78 armor saber tooth saddle. This could be pretty useful if I want to get a saber tooth. I also got like some gasoline and then some Lazarus chowder from it. But yeah, I. There we go, we're out on queue. So, funny thing that happened with this. I can actually just pick all this up. This is actually so nice. I'm just realizing how useful this is. You, and, if I pick up this, it'll give me the gate and the door instead of just breaking the door. Which is really nice. Yeah, that's another really convenient thing about, uh, whatever, being able to pick pick everything up with no timer. You can just pick up your traps when you're done with them. So yeah, wasn't quite able to get enough stuff for a saddle. But I think I'm just gonna, whatever, fly home with him anyway. Also, my guy is very weighed down. I'll slow down a bit so we can catch up. There we go. So yeah, I'll probably fly home and bring you guys back then. Alright. So, just got home, and now I want to get a saddle for the RG. I should have all the stuff I need here. There we go. That's so convenient that I can just save this for a trap later on. Yeah, I want to see how much weight does this guy actually have because I haven't checked it yet. 640 right off the bat. Nice. How fast is he? Obviously not too fast, but then again, it's an RG. You don't want it for speed. How much did that go up by? Solid amount, nice. Alright. This was a pretty successful episode. Finally have a flyer that can actually carry a good amount. Killed a, an alpha, whatever. An alpha megalodon. That... Happened to break part of my dock. Thankfully it wasn't really an important part. And I can rebuild it if I wanted to. Which I probably will. Like in between episodes. But yeah. Also got a little bit more done on the base. And this out. Yeah. This was a pretty successful episode. So yeah. I'll see you guys later.